Hey everybody, so Tara here, and I was just having a discussion with one of my challengers, and she brought up a fantastic question that I thought would be a great topic for video because I think that a lot of you might be struggling with the same thing. Uh, she was struggling with not eating enough of her plan. Now, stop, if you eat too much, don't worry about it, I'm there with you, okay? I'm right there with you because that's my struggle. What I was realizing as I was talking with her is my advice pertained to both people who undereat and overeat. Both things are not ideal. You wanna eat what your body needs, and you want to make sure that you get the foods in that you need. So she is on the portion fix plan. I'm trying to see if I have it or near me. I don't. That's those color coded containers that you probably see like with the 21 day fix and things like that. She filled out a particular questionnaire and based on a lot of different questions about her and her specific body type, she was given a specific plan for her goals that tells her the number of servings of vegetables, fruits, um, proteins, you know, car starchy carb carbohydrates and things like that. She knows how much to eat a day. You may not be on that, but I think this advice would still apply to you, uh, roughly. So, what I recommend for her is to break up her meals and break it up by what food she has at that meal. So, let me give you an example. Every day for breakfast, I usually have my Shakeology, which is a protein, a serving of fruit, which is like a banana. I have a teaspoon of like almond butter. Oh, and then I have, that's supposed to be yellow. I don't have a yellow. I have like a carbohydrate serving, like a starchy carbohydrate. And that tends to be for me the same. I, I find I just, I like to start my day with Shakeology. That's just how my body responds. But let's take a look at lunch. Lunch, I tend to be very, very, very much the same every day. Now, one of the big mistakes a lot of people make in their health and fitness journey is they think that every meal needs to be this brand new, exciting adventure, which is great and wonderful, but honestly, most fit people eat very similar things every day. Now, you don't need to do that. Don't freak out about being bored. I'm not saying eat like chicken and broccoli every single day, but find things that you love, and if you love them, have them a couple times. One of my challengers makes an amazing like taco salad, and she, or she'll do nachos, and she eats those like all the time. I'm always seeing her check in with her nacho recipe. So let me show you my lunch. So my lunch pretty much has the same format. It's usually my chicken, apple, and celery salad where I'll fill a green container with celery, I'll fill a purple container with some apple, and then I will have some chopped chicken to fill my red container, and I didn't color it in, but I have a teaspoon of olive oil, and I just, and I add some lemon juice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then boom, that's my lunch. But let's say I don't feel like that that day. That's okay. I just try to aim for these container types. And, you know, it might be sometimes I like to do some leftover mixed vegetables and I like to do uh, some fish that I just cook really fast and then like uh, two clementines or something like that. And that would be my purple. So I break it up. What's nice about this is when you have it in this format, you kind of stay on track throughout the day, but you also tweak it based on what you're discovering about your body. So, for example, for me, I find I really need fats before snack time. If I haven't had fats, if I haven't had, there's a blue container, which are like your cheeses, avocados, or there's an orange container, which are like your dressings and seeds, or there's the teaspoons, which are like nut butters and oils and stuff. If I haven't had like two or like two of any of those by snack time, I am starving. And I noticed it made it play a huge role in my hunger. Likewise, if it's been snack time and I haven't had a vegetable, I also find that I struggle. So over time, you come up with this really tailored plan based on what you know works for you. And at first, people look at the containers. They go, oh, this is so overwhelming. And I want you to think about this even for any nutrition plan you're on. You, know, you might think, oh, it's overwhelming. How do I get my macronutrients? Or how do I get this in? How do I get that in? But if you do it in this format, you start to kind of memorize it. I always know that this is what my lunch is. Dinner, I always know what it is. And it's even where my husband knows what it's going to be. So he can plan his nutrition plan around it. And, and so dinner is always the same. And then oftentimes what I like to do is I use my snacks to make up for where maybe I wasn't 100% to that plan. But I at least have something in place to where I'm keeping up with my nutrition throughout the day. Also, don't forget to set a timer for every two to three hours to remind yourself to eat. Those are things that can really help you a ton. Another thing I like to tell people is if you're struggling with a particular container, first of all, talk with the coach you have. If you don't have one, you're more than welcome to ask me. They might have some tips, but more often than not, I get people to put that container in their breakfast, whether they put chia seeds to get in their orange container, in their Shakeology, or they're adding spinach to a shake, or something like that. Usually blending it into something is a great way to sneak those in. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little bit of focus for how to get in those containers and how to make sure that you stay on plan. But if you have any questions, just know I'm here and I'd be happy to answer them for you. All right. Bye, y'all.